What's good YouTube, it's your boy Alexo back it again with another reaction video. Today's video that we're checking out is Red Velvet and Espa, Beautiful Christmas. Bro, this is so random, this is so like unexpected. I When I saw this video on my phone just randomly, I was like, what? I am not complaining in the slightest, uh, this is super dope. I just, you know, I don't think anyone would have seen this coming but I, it, apparently SM's in the holiday mood because we're, we're getting christmas music videos left and right nct just dropped oh the, maybe is this name maybe it's not a christmas video i just the thumbnail looked kind of christmasy we ha have to watch that later but without further ado let's get into red velvet and as for beautiful christmas this is gonna be dope Oh, oh, Giselle. Okay. Is it just me or is the quality not as like crisp as I, I would want it to be? Back a little bit. Okay, definitely my computer. <gasps> Giselle looks good. Oh, Joy. Oh my god, they look so... Oh, I love that. I love that harmony. Wow, these are like the two like powerhouse vocals of... Oh, wait, that... Oh my god. This is so weird to me. Like, my brain can't... Oh, okay, I like the beat switch up. Oh, I just want to dance. This has like such a good swing to it. Oh, I was kind of like Loki doing it. Bro, I've never seen Karina. This is like. Have you ever seen Espa do a concept like this? Like, come on. I mean... In alternate universe, this is Espa's concept. You know what I'm saying? Oh... Uh. Oh, wait, Giselle! She killed that! Oh, I love this doorbell, um, fisheye. They definitely chose an earworm to sing, like, to come out with on Christmas. Oh, the tree. This is so good. What do we do to deserve this low key? This is so, I mean, I realize like SM is very, I realize they like their groups collaborating together, which we don't see a lot. I mean, I do see it in other like Christmas songs that labels make, but in general, SM's like very kind of pushing the envelope when it comes to that kind of stuff. Like for instance, Girls on Top, you know, Super M, like that type of stuff, like that's SM's thing. Um. That being said, we need this more. Oh! Wait, just, just... Just... Wow. This looks amazing. She's actually an angel, bro. The amount of visual in Oh shit oh Wow that hit that was so like Ooh Ning Ning That falsetto was that note, that whistle note, bro.
This actually really does sound like a Red Velvet song. Oh, just out, oh, just smiled. Wow. Bro, Ning Ning really like kind of stole the show on the... There's so many little like catchy parts in there, like little small bits. Like, um, I love like that little ad libs, like ever since Giselle's part early in the song. The last like four seconds of the song, they don't play around. Just hold up. Then we got like that catchy little part at the end. We got the high note and then we got... Wow. I love this so much. I'm not just saying this because like Giselle's one of my favorites, but I she really excels in like a concept like this. Like, do y'all get what I mean? I was introduced to Giselle one for the first time when I watched that sync video of her rapping. This was like pre-debut. Well, I guess it was like in preparation for debut. I'm like, this girl's sick. This girl's so like... She's like, cool. If you were to have showed me this video after showing me that rap video, I, w I would be like, that's not the same person. Oh, her smile is just so like, it brights up your whole day, man. There's so many reasons as to why this is a good video. In general, Christmas songs, I mean, like, I'm a, I'm a very, like, festive person. I love Christmas time. I'm fortunate to live in New York City, so, like, when you step outside during this time of December, like, holiday cheer all around. But as someone who's a festive person, like, I love Christmas sounding songs. So off the bat, it's, you're already off to, you know, a good start. But it was far from just a typical Christmas song. It had so much character, and it, I, I personally got a real, like, red velvet feel from it. I could definitely, I don't know, I just imagine it being originally a Red Velvet song, and they decided to add Espa into the mix. I mean, just from the quirkiness alone, you wouldn't expect Espa to be on a song like this, but we are living in the Matrix. We're living in a simulation, because this, this exists. 